Hello, everybody. By now, you should recognize this voice. This is Ali Rush again. Still thinking about you. And I thought I would bring you another little, little talk today, which is concerning bringing thoughts and minds together in peaceful meditation. We need something that would help put our minds at ease because of the problems that this coronavirus and COVID-19 has caused us. If we had something to fall back on, if we had something that we thought or knew would bring us comfort, we'd be better off for it. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit concerning this subject, which is basically meditation. Meditation creates a balance in the body systems. When you relax to meditate, it aids in the decrease of the metabolism it lowers blood pressure, and it also strengthens heart rate, which has direct access to breathing and brain waves. It also loosens tightness in the muscles, causing them to relax. We find at some point, awareness of self increases, brightens mental noticing of the body's capabilities. There is a reduction in stress and anxiety. Our thought process clears and focuses. We become more aware of our emotions. The brain responds to relaxation. When the brain, the mind, and the body are more alert, we become more aware of things around us. When the awareness is heightened, we become less likely to have accidents. Now, if the motor vehicles department placed more emphasis on alertness and awareness, accidents would decrease, lives would be saved, and jobs would become less hectic for safety officials. With meditation, is determined that the full extent of safety can practically be achieved. With meditation comes a renewing of the mind, a settling of body functions, allowing peace and tranquility to control. Teaching our kids becomes easier and there is or there are less problems. Now, Meditation can be practiced in seven different ways. Number one, mindfulness meditation, which is full presence with your thoughts. Number two, transcendental meditation, which is specifically repeated sounds or words. Number three, guided meditation, which is finding mental pictures to relax. Number four, Vipassana, seeing things as they are. Number five, loving kindness meditation, feelings of the heart. Number six, chakra, which is mental and spiritual powers in the body. And number seven, and the last minute, uh, meditation is Yoga, which is a series of postures. Practicing meditation will help you to cope with the difficult situations that COVID-19 has placed us in. It really helps to place our minds at ease. And I hope you've uh, learned something from this short message today. And I'll be back soon.